this can come out. Yep, it's recording. This can all come out. I'm gonna turn the video down. All right, hi, welcome. So, come on, Woodworks. So, it is January sixth, and it is a tropical eight degrees in St. Louis right now. So, I have my little jet heater going to warm up the shop and uh, basically help warm up the loo so that I can make things, okay? See this behind me? I didn't make this, mm -mm. but I was given this. So, what am I doing with this? I am making a box for my glue to be stored in. It's a box. Nobody's thinking anything. So what, DJ? What are you thinking? It's a box. Everybody makes boxes. It's true. But in this box, I'm going to attach this fixture and put in a light bulb. Okay? Box will be sealed up. I'm going to store the glue and keep a light bulb in to keep it warm. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm tearing apart the headboard, taking off the little trim pieces, deciding if I really want to keep them or if it's best to just let it go so uh oh i just looked at it see the board right here it's gonna be a video on that this is my camera little boom arm that i made i got my camera mounted at the end i got it charging right now uh this is for the like the other video that I put out with the uh, computer and editing and all that. Like I said, this this boom arm camera's mounted on the end, and it can spin around so I can record other parts of the shop along with my phone and my GoPro and other implements of recording. So let me start tearing this apart and. When uh, I'm, again, I'm recording this on my cam, the camera on my phone, so it's gonna be kind of choppy. So I'll get a lot done when I get to a point that I think I need to explain things. I will. Thanks. I wanted to get this on film too. Hear that? I got two people who live close to me that have roosters. San Luis County, you can have chickens. It's illegal to have roosters. They were battling there for a minute. So, roosters. So, yeah, you ever have that neighbor? There it is. Okay. One, you can hear my heater in the background. Like I said before, it's like eight degrees out. Uh, it's just too cold for me to keep turning the damn thing off, turning it back on, all that. Anyway, I'm making a box to keep my glue in. It's going to have a light bulb in it that will keep the glue warm. I can't warm the whole shop, but I can warm the things that I need to keep warm and so that they flow, like glue, okay? So, as you can tell, the headboard is now gone, but it's in pieces. That's just pine, but the boards are good, okay? Except for, see them? Now, uh, originally, I had another board, and I started taking these out, and it was just taking way too long, and I thought, hey, it's a box to put glue in. It's not going to be some kind of fine little treasure trove kind of thing, something, you know, that will be passed down. So, I'm going to hammer these things down. I'm just going to hammer them down, make them flat. It's a box for glue. The inside's going to be lined. We'll see that. Alright? Alright, pause. Okay, so the headboard came with this door. I kept one of them. The other one, uh, if you're, if, if, if what am I trying to say? Think, think, DJ, think. Oh, the other one, uh, I made into a, the, the Christmas decoration. I took 
He took it apart and used it for Santa's beard. Anyway, so uh, glad I kept this one because I can use this door. This door fits exactly where this little glue box is going. I'm going to show you. See this area? There's some junk. I'm still recovering from the holidays here. You can see the glue bottle right there. So right in here is where I'm going to put this box. It's behind my uh, my arm for the radio arm saw. So it's kind of wasted space. So why not use it? Why not utilize it? So with that said, I know. I'll turn it around here. This would be the bottom board. Can't see it. There we go. This would be the bottom board. Okay, these are pieces of trim. I haven't thrown in the fire yet. So I know that I need to build up or at least cut boards about this size so that the door has something to close against. See that? The edge of the door right there. Bottom board here. So I build the box, build the inside up, two boards all the way around so that the door closes and helps keep heat. I'm only going to do like a 40 watt bulb. It doesn't have to be an inferno inside this thing. It's just warm enough to keep the glue warm. Okay. Once again, pause. All right, I'll try to talk so you can hear me over the heater, but it is just too cold to turn that thing off. I, I tried this. Uh, so, I know because I need three boards to take up the space here between this edge, you can see it better this way, this edge of these panels and this door, and I want it to sit flush. So I know I need three boards, okay? So, the top board, if I have over by the miter saw, I need it to be 22, 22 inches, because right now it's measuring at 23 and a half. My boards are three quarters of an inch. So, the bottom board and two other boards. And then knowing that I'm going to need a board here and two boards to take up this space, I need an inch and a half. Okay? So, this is where I'm at. Right now, I'm just going to cut the wood, make the box, and, uh, I'll see you guys for assembly. I don't know. Maybe it's the cold. Maybe my brain is numb. So anyway, I, I cut the other ones at 22 because you minus three quarters here, three quarters here, that's an inch and a half. So 22, the bottom's not going to go all the way to the edges of the doors. However, the sides will. So the sides measures 15 and 5 sixteenths. A little tip I like to do, because I confuse a lot with my sixteenths and all that stuff, even though I can read a tape measure. Can you see the line? All right. Can you see it? Can't really see it. All right. And you can kind of see it here. This line from here to here is 15 and 5 sixteenths. Usually, if I'm over, my tape measure, if I'm over from a major mark on a tape measure, let's just say just for purposes here, seven and a quarter, okay? Everybody knows quarters, half, three quarter. But if I'm over just a little bit, and let's say I'm way the hell up here, and I'm like, oh, God, what is that? That's a one, three, five, seven, nine, oh, 11, okay? I'll just say that I am seven to five eighths strong, okay? And it's something I learned from... I did uh, some construction way back in my youth. <laughs> so, quarter of an inch over, strong. Quarter of an inch under, weak. Okay? So, if I said seven and five eighths weak, I'm actually at seven and nine sixteenths. So, you might hear me say that in some videos when I'm measuring things. Be like, oh, it's a seven and a half strong. I know it's seven and I gotta do the math again, nine sixteenths. So that is what I'm doing now is cutting those boards and they will go because it's a box with the whole length of this part. 
the bottom will not. The inside, I'll just rip down pieces to fit and so the door can sit against something and help hold in light and heat and all that. But like I said, I'm not trying to heat a house with this. It's a, uh, you see that? It's how cold it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Brain's starting to freeze on me and I haven't even had a slushy. All right, so this is a little box, a little table that I made for my my pocket hole jig. I got it centered right here. And then I built some drawers to hold my bit. Well, it's screws. On this side, I got another drawer I, I put in to hold all the screws, as well as my uh, device. Maybe I'll do a video on deconstructing this and building another one. I also I also, even though it has a handle, I put the Allen wrench in here and a little hole and stuff the Allen wrench I need for what I need the Allen wrench for. Tight. I just took some PVC. Yeah, I'm just going to take it up and mess with it now. Anyway, this fits, goes right underneath the screw, and then the strap holds it in place and I attach it to my vacuum and it draws out if I'm doing a lot of pocket holes. So, dual purpose the strap, and it also holds this. And you can put tape around it to get even better suction power, but you know, it works just fine. I don't have that many holes, so I'm not going to go through all those steps.